of you guys welcome back to my channel welcome back to another video for today's video i'm doing a super random q and a it's been such a long time since i've just sat down and spoken to you all heart to heart and we've not exchanged any thoughts in a very long time or both like furniture oriented adult oriented stuff has been happening on the channel so i thought i would just liven up the mood do a fun q and a i've asked on my community post as well as on my instagram ki jaldi jaldi questions bhejo 30 minutes mein jitne questions aayenge main fat se answer kar dungi cuz i was not actually planning to film today ye jhatpat sab ho raha hai i can already see a lot of questions coming in and they are all over the place so if you're just interested to spend some time with me go grab a snack grab a cola whatever you want to eat and dive right into it but before that if you're new here if you've never been here then hi i'm sara i make beauty and lifestyle content here on youtube take a moment and hit that subscribe button join the sara squad i'm sure you'll have a great time here also don't forget to hit the bell icon right next to it so that every time i upload a video you get notified which is very important and then we can dive straight into this fairly very loyalty the youtube family so here so i'll refresh the community post there are 29 comments already in 5 minutes so let's take the first question which is from manisha singh who asks me your hobbies my hobbies used to be very creative and art related i used to love painting and then i just started youtube and now creating content has become a hobby slash job so i don't really do anything to just spend time or pass time any more hobby wise but uh, painting and art is definitely Definitely something that makes me calm. Ever been cheated on by your partner? No, actually, I've not reached that phase of relationship where I've cheated on someone or someone has cheated on me. I've not been in a long-term relationship ever. My longest relationship was just six months, and when it just fell off, we fell off the grid. How did you move on from your relationship? It was a tough road. It was not something that happened instantly. It took its own healing period. I used to cry all the time. I remember I used to cry all night. I used to work all day and cry all night. That was a routine that I followed. Literally for three four months, and then after a point, I was like, "What am I crying for? Why am I even crying at this point?" So it just fell off. The reason to cry fell off, and I moved on. I didn't really follow anything. Uh, or even try therapy or anything like that it just naturally a course you know you run that course of sorrow and grief and you have to allow yourself to feel those emotions and then it runs its course completely through you who is chotu please give us a short intro so chotu is basically my house help in my parents home he's been with us for 2 years now his name is not chotu his name is sunil and he's literally like a part of the family now and he's 18 plus so this is not child labor he just looks very small aur hum aise hi usko chotu bulate hain isliye nahi kyunki wo chota hai his vibe when his aura is so positive i love it he's always smiling touch wood like he's always happy you know aur kabhi wo kam smile karta hai na to main usko puchti hu kuch na kuch gadbad hoti hai agar wo kam smile karta hai so like 90% of the time he's smiling and his aura is very positive to be around how did you gain your subscribers hello i have been working very hard at this job for nearly 4 and a half years now day in day out and i never take a break have you ever seen me take a break at all i think my subscribers are just my family who kept getting attached along the way it's not something i've bought none of my followers on instagram or youtube subscribers have ever been purchased it's all authentic genuine people who are following me and it's not bot accounts if i had a chance to delete one memory of mine then which would it be by the way sending tons of love your way so there's this one incident that had happened with me once in a vacation i will not elaborate but it was quite scarring and left a lot of trauma in my heart and mind and i cannot elaborate simply for personal reasons but i think that's a memory if i had power over my uh, memory i would have deleted it completely because i am somebody who has an eidetic memory i can remember everything scene by scene i remember flashes of that exactly like that So I really wish I could delete that from my memory for sure. How to earn online for teenagers? So like if you're 18 or 18 above and you just want to start working in the online world, there are a lot of jobs available at this point because mass media is booming, digital media is booming. There are a lot of ways for you to earn a source of income. You can become somebody's manager or creative head or you know up your skill set. You need to up your skill set. This is the phase of your life when you're 17, 18, or even younger when you should increase the skills that you have so that later on the jobs you get. are really well paying or even if not well paying from the beginning your skill set will only increase with the job so you should have basic skills like learn editing learn how to create graphics learn so many things can just be learned online on youtube today learn photography videography all of these skills are very good this is like a soft skill set which will later on one way or another benefit you for sure either at your job you will not need somebody's help for it even if your job does not require those skills per se or else you can just start freelancing in those streams i know so many 
photographers and work with so many photographers who don't really have a degree as such or haven't even been to photography school but their skills and talent is so good that you want to hire them and now they've made it a complete source of income so you just have to keep amping your skill set up this is the age for that do that really well so later on your income will also be really guaranteed your talent will speak for itself do you ever face creativity block or cannot find the inspiration to work on some days how do you get back to the hustle so definitely like everyone i am completely human too i lack motivation sometimes as well like first i was in a very fixed routine with college like every day i used to go to college i had to be there because i had attendance i had people i had to answer to so there was no way for me to bunk college i was doing what i was doing not just because i loved it but also i was doing it every day because i was answerable to someone right but when you're working for yourself like at youtube i'm only working for myself and i'm answerable to myself so ever since college has gotten over it's been a little difficult for me to get back on the horse and you know create content every day because i was only used to creating on the weekends and that routine of shooting and editing every day is not sitting well just yet so i feel i'm lacking that motivation or that zest to just hustle all through what i'm doing and trying my best to do is document every feeling i'm getting right now i'm big on journaling i keep diaries next to me at all times i keep writing what i'm thinking like now i just want to take it slow and easy but build my hustle i know one day i want to keep working the way I was working, but I cannot फोर्स माई सेल्फ के वैसे के वैसे काम करो बट अभी कोई और जॉब में काम करो उसको टाइम लगेगा टू बिल्ड दैट एनर्जी एंड स्टेमिना टू डू डिफरेंट वर्क थ्रू आउट द डे एंड डिफरेंट टास्क थ्रू आउट द डे सो गिविंग योर सेल्फ टाइम डॉक्यूमेंटिंग वॉट योर फीलिंग बट नोइंग दैट योर गोल इज क्लियर दैट वन डे यू वॉन्ट गेट बैक टू द हसल इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एंड पर्सनली फॉर मी आई डोंट केयर मच अबाउट द डेस्टिनेशन आई नेवर रिली केयर के हंड्रेड के सब्सक्राइबर्स टू हंड्रेड के थ्री हंड्रेड के ये सब मेरे टारगेट्स होते ही नहीं थे वट आई इंजॉय इज द जर्नी द जर्नी ऑफ क्रिएटिंग वीडियो posting videos seeing your interaction on my videos commenting and talking to y'all that is what i enjoy the journey is more exciting than just reaching one destination and being happy of course you get happy when you reach a milestone but that's not what i'm aiming for i'm aiming to work hard every day and having that spirit in mind i don't think i will ever lose the motivation because i want to work hard for as long as my body allows me to that's just what makes my mind happy and that's what that's who i am as a person okay what does an occupational therapist do this question has been asked to me so many times even on instagram these days so i'm going to leave a link to the q and a where i've answered this much in depth for you all over here on top i've not made a specific video on my medical career background because in my vlogs and in my q and a's here and there i keep talking about it my channel is not here to give you therapeutic advice it's purely only for entertainment that is the reason why i don't make dedicated videos only on therapy your phobia by the way loved your video and your personality personally for me i have never discovered a phobia as such till now in 22 years of my life i have not realized what i'm scared of like i'm scared of uncertainty but that's not a phobia right so that's just a life situation i don't have fear of heights i don't have fear of lizards rats insects of any kind i can see them living with me there are two lizards in this house right now and i'm literally coexisting with them i'm not scared of darkness i don't know actually for now i haven't discovered what my phobia is one day when i will i will let you know there's a rapid fire question favorite or most recommended book has to be a good vibes good life most recommended by vex king because it's a very good like therapeutic book it's a very easy read and you can keep reading it again and again whenever you're feeling low favorite movie has to be mujhse dosti karogi i love that movie so much i know bahut overacting hai but mere dil ke bahut kareeb hai i love that movie too much only a uh, favorite food item cheap chinese like desi chinese everything about desi chinese and favorite hobby has to be can i say makeup yeah it's makeup What are you planning to do in your future except YouTube and social media platform what are your plans in the medical field now that I'm a graduate I have graduated but I'm still waiting for my official degree to come all this paperwork takes time it's not going to come so easily plus I'm going to be traveling this month so I've decided to take some time off from my medical degree I'm going to take a break of the month of July because I have worked very hard and studied for four and a half years I deserve at least one month break you know if you're in med school you don't get chutti at all in four and a half years I've never taken like i've gone on vacations but those used to be study leaves that i used to study in advance and go on vacation or come back from vacation and study for so we had exams immediately after that i've never taken a peaceful break for my life where i can just chill and breathe and take a vacation so i just want to travel this month and now that the cases have reduced as well i've not gone anywhere since two years in the pandemic just want to take some time off after this one month i will figure something out i told you all time and time again 
I'm not giving up on my medical degree. I will not. And as I go along, you will know what I'm doing. I will update you all with my life. But um, yeah, I need to take a break. At least one month, though, I deserve it. How you started your journey on YouTube, especially financially. So if you're speaking investment or earnings wise, uh, I was not earning from YouTube for the first three years, I want to say, uh, of YouTube. I didn't earn anything for that matter. Uh, even AdSense revenue did not start generating for me immediately. It took a very long time. I've shared it in some of the videos with you all. And because I was not earning, I should not invest money back into YouTube. Because of course, when you're not earning from something, it's not wise to invest your money into it. I wasn't very sure also if after my degree I would want to continue YouTube so that's the reason I did not put in money into equipment the only thing I invested in was 50,000 for this camera that I needed for my convenience and that was that little surety that I was like 2-3 years if I will do work on YouTube pe, so this 50,000 will be done because I have used it but trust me when I say this in 3 years I haven't even earned the 50,000 to pay this camera ka EMI back it was all with my pocket money that I did I used to get brand deals it's not that brands didn't reach out to me but either the good brands reached out for barter collaborations and if there were paid collaborations they were by brands that I could not support like I could not uh, get on board with them because I did not you know I I didn't want to do sponsorships or I even today don't do sponsorships of products that I will not use personally so I was just not it was not making sense for me to talk about something just for money so that's the reason for the longest time I chill out without money I just kept telling myself I'm not here for money but when good brands started paying me and started recognizing my work that was when I took charge and I was like okay I'm earning from this it's time to give it back to the channel so I used to keep some money aside every month for investing back into the channel when I was in my down home in my parents home I tried to do up the room so that my background changed I invested in a hard drive for my data to be stored nicely I invested in hubs in a mic in a tripod, in a better light soft box, so many small small things which take a lot of money but thoda thoda bhi jo aara tha, I was putting it back into the channel and now for bigger investments like getting my camera I have started saving already so every month I will keep some money aside that when I reach that target then that is when I can you know buy my camera so for the studio also the same way I was just keeping money aside every month from my expenses that once I hit my 11 month rent that is when I can invest in the studio so that's how you go about with it and that's how I went about with my financial financial planning. How do you handle the pressure of marriage? Today only my daddy asked me at lunch when did you get married? And I was just like just because I took my house, I didn't mean that I was going to get married. I was only 22 years old, so I was going to get a little bit. I didn't have any pressure. Today, my family has never asked me to marry my daddy. It was the first time and I think she just out of nowhere asked me. But uh, yeah, my family does not pressurize me for marriage. I don't think they ever will also because they know I'm a very headstrong person. I'll do what I want to do when I want to do it. And if I find someone to do it with, otherwise, if I'm cutting my good then I'll cut it. There are more questions on YouTube, but I'm switching to Instagram now. Otherwise, this video is going to be super long and Instagram pe baap baut already. what was your favorite part to do up in the studio this room is where I invested the most money time energy in Baki pure ghar mein I just tried to do with the least amount of money and least amount of ideas I could put in because this room had to be the jam for my YouTube videos to just sit down and chill and studio room was the main uh, thing that I was invested in so yeah this room entirely is my favorite how do you feel with everything you've achieved this year this is a very heartwarming question because I I feel I've come a very long way in 2021. I think a lot of big things happened for me, which Alhamdulillah, I'm very, very grateful for Touchwood. And um, I think I'm very grateful. I just feel overwhelmed every time I look around me and I'm like, how have I been able to do this? It's unbelievable. Because there was a time I didn't know where life was taking me. You know, Khali chalne ka naam gaadi hai, jaysa chal raha, jaysa chalte raho, chalte raho, waisi chal raha tha. I was just creating videos because I wanted to do something on the weekends. I was just going to college because I already signed up for the degree so I was doing my degree like khali karne ke liye jo wo ek phase of rut hota hai na I think 2017 2018 2019 was that for me 2020 and 2021 I really picked my game up and I was like okay I'm doing something with a motive and that's when things changed for me like my headspace changed and life changed just want to ask you how much in overall you paid from rent to furniture because I right now I'm thinking to shift as well I've done up a complete 2 BHK and uh, rent mila ke I want to say 1,25,000 gaya hoga not more than that Definitely. But electronics, everything was gifted by my parents. That's the reason it became a little less. The only electronic item I purchased was my AC. But apart from that, like my kitchen stuff is all gifted by my parents. So just the furniture from Ikea and the decor and everything, Amazon, Ikea, sab milake. 
एंड द वन मंथ का रेंट मिला के आई थिंक आई स्पेंड वन पॉइंट टू फाइव टू वन पॉइंट थ्री पकड़ लो विच आई थिंक इज अ वेरी गुड अमाउंट बिकॉज मेरा टारगेट वन था बट आप रेंट भी गिन रहे हो तो आई थिंक आई एम आई एम अ गुड बजट हाउ डू यू मैनेज टू इन्वेस्ट एंड सेव योर इनकम डू यू हैव एनी हेल्प फॉर दिस नो एब्सोल्यूटली नॉट वेन कम्स टू माई फाइनेंस आई एम वेरी सेल्फ ड्रिवेन I handle my complete finances myself my income my expense the salaries i pay for my team members uh, my investments right from all the investments i make and i'm heavy on them as well i manage my finances completely myself how do you start conversations with fellow influencers you just start following if i have liked somebody's work from way before i've been following them ever since and then later on when they discover me or see my work they also start following me i'm guessing so yeah you just start work maybe you would reply to a story make a conversation or reach out for a collab video and then that's how conversation starts and friendship develop that's mostly how it's happened for me and yeah if you stay in the same city then best you can meet as well are you malayali no i'm not i'm completely a bombay girl but my mom is mangalorean so that little bit of south indian thing is there in me but apart from that no <laughs> where do you see yourself in the next 5 years it's something i've been thinking of lately and i think one thing i'm sure of in the next 5 years is that i want to have and own my own home in bombay i don't want to keep living on rent now that i've already taken the move and you know moved into a rental home i hope one day to own a house so that i don't have to keep paying rent uh, but yeah that's one dream of mine apart from that i hope i have a good car and i really hope i have a bullet because i love bikes so much i'm somebody who will i will not tell you i want a luxury bag or luxury anything i'm good shopping from bandra hill road while i can sit in my audi and drive away <laughs> how hard or easy is it to live by yourself share your experience so far so this is going to be the last question i take and my experience has been fairly i would say good alhamdulillah there is nothing to complain about of course there are new things that i'm not used to doing like just you know cleaning the house every now and then i'm a very very organized person i've realized that mujhe kuch bhi ganda nahi acha lagta hai to jaise jaise cheeze kharab ho rahi hai like you know i keep things here and there i will keep picking them up as i go as well so that consumes a lot of my time which before it used to not happen because i had chotu before so you know chotu used to just chotu so fast i have realized that ke wo itna fada fat sab kaam kar leta so i need to get chotu space in life once i achieve that things will run smoothly in my household as well but apart from that it's very fun to learn new things about yourself also you discover so much like i did not know that i liked cleanliness as much till i started living by myself you know because in that room i was not clean because there was no space only for me so yeah you guys that was it i will try to keep updating you all on my life as we go along a lot of vlogs coming a lot of beauty videos are going to be back i hope you guys enjoyed this very super fun random and zesty q and a if you did then don't forget to give it a big thumbs up for today's video the sara sport shout out goes to khushi001 thank you so much for watching and supporting my channel if you want to be a part of next video sara sport shout out you know what to do hit that subscribe button the bell icon right next to it and also leave a comment down below saying hashtag #sara squad and you will get a chance to be a part of my next video sara Squad shout out. I will see you guys very soon in another video. Bye guys, love you. Mwah.